Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about free and bound variable. So, in our previous classes, we clearly discussed about uh, this universal and existential quantifiers. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, it's very, very easy to understand. We take an example and understand what's free and bound variable means. Uh, let's take an example. All men will die. So, how we are going to write this statement in predicate function? These discussions made previously. So, in this we are having two predicates. M is a predicate. It is called as a is man. Will die is a predicate. We named it as D. So, how we are going to write this statement for all X. If X is a man, then he is going to die. X is going to die. This is how we write this statement in predicate logic. So, in this, in this equation, in this equation, x, we call it as bounded variable. Because x, x is a variable that is bounded to the predicate for all. Means the point you need to understand, variables that are bounded by any predicate, uh, any quantifiers, we call it as bounded variables. So, take one more example. Suresh is a man. So, Suresh is the subject. We will give a variable name to the Suresh subject. We named it as yes. This statement can be written as m of yes. Here, s is a variable which is not bounded by any of the quantifier. These type of variables, we call it as free variables. So, variables that are not bounded by any of the quantifiers, we call it as a free variables. And one more important point you need to understand here, Suresh is a subject. We named that subject as a variable name called yes. So, you can give any of the variable name, not only yes, some, some of them they are going to give you variable name u as Suresh. Some of them they are going to give h as a variable name for Suresh. You can give any variable name. That is not a problem. So, why we are going to say this is uh, this point we are going to use in our coming classes. By changing the variable, it is not going to affect anything. You can give any of the variable name for a subject. And one more important point you need to understand. What is the scope of this variable x? This quantifier for all x? The scope of the variable is whatever the statement this is the statement so before this statement this quantifier has been mentioned so the scope of this quantifier belongs to this statement to this entire statement see you need to observe the brackets carefully brackets brackets before this we applied the quantifier means this quantifier is applied to this entire equation that is what the scope of the quantifier the scope of the quantifier belongs to this equation. Now we will take some examples and understand what is free variable and what is bounded variable. Let us take this example for all x p of x comma y. So our quantifier placed before this statement. So this quantifier, the scope of this quantifier belongs to this statement p of x comma y. So in this x is a bounded variable or free variable x is a bounded variable because it belongs to a quantifier. It is bounded by a quantifier. So, x is a quant bounded variable. y is a free variable. x is a bounded variable. y is a free variable. Let us uh, take one more example for better, better understanding of that. For all x, there exists y, p of x comma y. So, what is the meaning of that? Uh, this quantifier belongs to this, means the scope of this quantifier belongs to this equation. The scope of this quantifier belongs to this equation because before this equation, these quantifiers has been mentioned. For all x, there exists y, p of x comma y. So, now in this situation, both x and y are bounded variables because they, they x is bounded to this quantifier, y is bounded to this quantifier. One more example, for all x, p of x implies q of x. So, x is a bounded variable. What is the scope of this x? It belongs to this entire equation. One more example, for all x, p of x implies there exists y, r of x comma y. What is the scope of x for all x? 
it belongs to this entire equation what is the scope of there exist y it belongs to only this part so by looking at this is x bounded variable yes it is a bounded variable is y bounded variable yes it is a bounded variable because y bounded to this quantifier both x and y are bounded variables Hope you understand what free and bounded variable means. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.